Hey, what's up everybody? This is Travis. Welcome to the Action Tunes YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to start doing some uh, some drawing videos for you, just to jazz it up in between projects. I'm still working on Class Clowns, Jet Mode, Toby, now you know that. All different fun things for you. So today I'm going to be working on a quick Sonic the Hedgehog for you, celebrating the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Um, we're going to color it, we're going to clean it up, we're going to do some shading. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So here we are. Um, thanks to the magic of video editing, I've already done the Sonic drawing, but what I did was I sped the video up 200% and I'm going to narrate over it, um, just kind of walking you through the whole process. So what's going on here is sketching him out. You know, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, so he's going to run, right? He's going to go running forward. I figured give him a cool little pose. Um, I'm looking at reference drawings while I'm doing this. Um, sometimes there's one drawing that's just, that's the one, that's the one you're gonna be looking at. Um, but it's probably a better idea to, especially with a character like Sonic, who looks different at different angles, um, different kind of silhouettes based on however you're looking at him or whatever he's doing. You wanna look at a bunch of different drawings. Um, when you're doing original stuff, it's cool to do a model sheet. It's cool to draw them at different angles, cool to do expressions and uh, draw them angry, draw them, you know, happy, draw them all different ways so that it's much easier to, um, to put them in whatever pose you need to put them in. Um, kind of just like flashing through this um, now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah, so Sonic is just, he's basically a, a circle head and a slightly smaller circle for the body. Um, he's got big hands and he's got big feet. Um, and when I say big, I mean compared to his head. Usually, um, if I'm doing a character, that's usually how I'll think about sizing is you know, how, how many heads high is the character? Um, how big are the hands or the feet or the top half of the body or the bottom half of the body compared to other parts of the body? I do a lot of comparing um, because I do animation. And anytime you're drawing a character in a different angle or in a specific dynamic pose, um, those things are really key to, to know ahead of time um, so you can catch yourself making mistakes or if something's too big or too small or if it looks wonky. Um, it's just good to think about. I'm pretty happy with the sketch at this point, so now I'm just diving in with the, uh, the pencil tool in Adobe Animate. And, you know, the, the thing that I do when I'm drawing, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if it's a line that is just like a long curve or a straight line, I'll just drag it out. Literally drag it out with the, uh, with the pen or with the uh, mouse, and then I'll bend it as a curve. Excuse me. Um, instead of drawing it over and over again to get that perfect line. Places where you'll see that I'm not doing that are like right there where the eye is, I'm just boom, I'm just going for it, you know? And if it's wrong, I just pop in there and I adjust it. And that's what I really like about Adobe Animate. Um, it allows you to grab those curves and just pinch them around, move them around. Um, and you don't have to worry about, you know, points and vertices and all those things. Um, with the nose and with the eyes, you'll notice that I'm grabbing the ellipse tool and I'm just making perfect ovals and, you know, free transforming it accordingly. Um, I don't dare sit there and noodle trying to get a perfect circle or a perfect oval. It's just, it's unnecessary, you know? For specific shapes, like right here with the mouth um, and the area around his, you know, bottom part of the face, I'm gonna draw that. I'm gonna make sure it's how I need it. And, um, yeah, right there, I'm just dragging those lines out, adjusting them. Um, yeah, so that's, it's, you know, it's 
two different ways to go about drawing in Adobe Animate. Um, I also draw right in the program for the most part, um, because here in the studio I have the Cintiq, so I'm pretty easy to just dive right in and draw right on the screen. But you know, don't be afraid to uh, scan pencil drawings and trace them on there. It's also going to be an option. Definitely could have used the ellipse tool on the body and on his uh, chest piece here, now that I'm looking at it, but if you get into a rhythm and you're just going for it, just go for it, you know? Oh uh, yeah, so just bending that curve on the arm right there. Sonic is a cool character. I, I, I really, I have a particular preference for the uh, the old school one. It was just, it was just a cool design. Um, you know, it was very, uh, he looked tough, but he also looked cute. And uh, it was just, you know, the, the shapes and uh, everything worked. It just worked really well. Uh, if you guys like this video, might do a sequel. You know, our buddy Tails, definitely uh, wouldn't mind drawing Tails. A lot more would go into him too. Um, could probably do some effects, some effects stuff with the uh, the tail spinning. He's got those propeller tails. He's banging out this foot right now. If you watch, you can see me selecting little areas, and that allows me to to bend certain portions, get it to how I want. Back leg is a you know smaller type of deal. I just Go straight for it, not using the line tool, just kind of drawing that right in. And, you know, just like that, I mean, not, you know, obviously this is sped up, but I, I feel like altogether this was really, in real time, this was about 20 minutes of, of drawing and coloring and shading. We're going to dive into the coloring and the shading in a bit. And for that, you'll see in a second when I go about doing it, but, you know, you don't want to just grab random colors. If you're drawing a character that you know he's already an existing character and you want to make it look legit, go online, get yourself some reference. Um, luckily, Photoshop has it too, but Adobe Animate has a tool, the, uh, the eyedrop tool, and I'm saving. Always save your work. The eyedrop tool will allow you to grab colors from another image, and you'll have the exact color. So what I do at this point is I go and I grab an image of Sonic the Hedgehog, and then I drag it into the animate document and I'm just eye dropping it, boom. And it's the exact color, you know? And even now that I'm looking at it, you know, there's always, there's always gonna be little things that you can probably go in there and adjust. Like right now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking those feet could be a little bigger. Not by a lot, but just by a pinch. But from looking at him at a different angle, you see the difference. And uh, so now what I'm doing is going in here and I grabbed a red pencil tool. And I'm blocking out the areas that are going to be darker. And the reason I'm doing it with a red pencil tool is because I'm going to go in there and I'm going to erase all those lines later. And if I were to choose a black line, it would select the black lines of Sonic's line art. And I would also be deleting that, which I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm going about using the uh, the red pencil tool here. And when you're doing shading, you probably heard this and read it in books and everything, but it's true. You need to think about where the light source is coming from. Um, you know, so if you're looking at me right now in this video, the light, um, it's, it's over here. So if I'm looking up in the light, you see the shadows in my face, they're over here. Um, so, you know, made this part of my nose, you're seeing the, the light side of it, and then over here it's all, it's dark because the, you know, it's the shadow being cast. My nose is coming out of my face. <laughs> so, uh, shading is really something you just gotta go in there and, you know, you know, look at images, uh, you know, paint things and, uh, shade things just from looking at it in real life. You know, what's in front of what? You know, like, how does how does light bend around certain objects? Um, it's just, you gotta learn from doing it, you know, but... 
luckily there's YouTube out there and there's books and the real world too don't forget about that y'all the real world pop out there and draw some things so because he's blue and you know he collects rings and they're gold and yellow and he's gonna pop against the yellow background you know that's the main reason I did it then of course putting a little drop shadow here copied his artwork made it black and then I go in there and I, I drop the opacity on the black and um, and then we get a, a cool little shadow there. It just grounds him, puts him, you know, looks like he's running on the ground instead of just floating in the air. Um, you'll be surprised how much a drop shadow can add, can add to a uh, otherwise flat drawing. And then you definitely want to sign that thing. And that's what I did right there. Boom. And you're pretty much done. That's it. So, uh, yeah, let me know uh, if you guys thought this was helpful at all if you want me to do any other characters just drop that in the comments and um you know thanks for swinging by and check by more often and uh, we'll have some animations for you and more drawings and you know this that and the third so have yourself a lovely day